The United Nations has assured that it will not force Sri Lanka to accept a role for international judges in investigating war crimes committed during 26-year-old long civil war, only if the process is impartial and independent. Wrapping up his four-day visit to the island nation, United Nations Human Rights Commissioner Zaid Rad Al Hussein said that Sri Lanka must confront and defeat the demons of its past and create accountable institutions that deliver justice, truth and security. He commended the current president Maithripala Sirisena's efforts to provide justice to the victims of the civil war but added that much more is needed to be done. Hussein added that United Nations will not force the government to accept the role of foreign judges if the victims of the civil war have confidence in a national mechanism. I mean, we are not forcing anything on, on the government of Sri Lanka. The government of Sri Lanka, has, uh, the president has stated his preference, his position. Uh, we have stated our preference. There will be a very comprehensive, uh, I hope, uh, cons consultative process. And then out of that, we will see what final shape this mechanism will be. In. Well, from our perspective, it's, it's the victims who ultimately have the final say. If whatever Sri Lanka decides upon has the support of the victims on all sides, that is okay with us. If the mechanism is impartial and independent, that is okay with us. In October last year, the UNHRC had prescribed an international hybrid court with foreign judges, prosecutors and investigators to probe the alleged rights abuses during the Sri Lanka's ethnic conflict that ended in 2009. Sri Lanka had then said that it would establish a special court to examine alleged war crimes which could seek advice from international experts but will remain domestic. The United Nations believes that both the Sri Lankan military and Tamil Tiger rebels have committed war crimes during the war. During his visit to review the country's progress in prosecuting alleged war crimes, Hussein met with several senior government officials, including President Maithripala Sirisena and Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. He also met ethnic Tamil leaders and the families of missing victims during his visit to the northern and eastern province of the country, which were active conflict zones during the civil war.